So we want to share those key findings. We want to make sure, as we said, that that research, those studies aren't just sitting on a shelf somewhere and going on rent, that they're actually feeding into government policy, that the stakeholders and decision makers are, are hearing the evidence, are hearing the key findings, are making those decisions, but really importantly, that we're bringing in the voices of civil society, that we're bringing in representatives of taxpayers, of the private sector, and of local media to ensure that something actually happens. This collaboration is so important in the sense that, number one, we all know the work collaboratively for ensure say, we push for policies the way fear, transparent and accountable, but also policies that will help government for generate revenue, we are in the poor look be much more suffer. I'm very, very much impressed um, considering the content that have been discussed in this conference and considering the fact that um, this is the first time Sierra Leone is actually hosting a tax conference. Well, it means a lot. For example, we've been doing a series of research, but we've never actually published them. This is an opportunity given to us to publish some of the work that will be done. And I think going forward, this would be like a benchmarking or probably best practice to continue to do things like this. Having a conference that deals with um, you know, um, tax and development for Sierra Leone is a fantastic idea because it, it provides a platform and an opportunity for policymakers to interface with um, academic researchers scholars, CSOs, non-state act actors to articulate issues around taxes that are relevant towards Sierra Leone's development. For students at the University of McKinney who are in the finance, they need to know how government can rely on the taxation. This will reduce our potential of asking international organizations for us to depend on them for uh, the supply of resources or helping build our economy. What's the impact of me paying my tax? If I pay tax, what's the return? What should I enjoy? And what would be, what would be the life of our children that are coming up? If we don't lay the foundation in terms of education, in terms of medical, in terms of good roads, we don't expect people to come and develop Sierra Leone, but we, we are to develop Sierra Leone. People don't know what is happening within the NRA in terms of tax collection, in terms of how their processes, their procedure. People don't understand that. So when I came here, it's like a how. This is an eye opener for me to like uh, trying to talk to other people so that they can understand the issue of tax collection by the NRA in this country. So in terms of the key takeaways um, that I would have liked to, um, I hope that the, the, the audience took away from it, was that um, with every process like property taxation, um, it is a learning process. And so the first implementation, as we did in Freetown uh, for Freetown City Council, um, worked with a number of partners and stakeholders. And um, some of the learning points that we learned was that it was very important that you had the collaboration of all the stakeholders as a part of that process and as much as it was a property tax um, process and of course we went through all the processes of setting it up but what was important was that you know if you have collaboration from like central government and the administration even your stakeholders um, other stakeholders like taxpayers if they're part of that process then it makes for a successful um, process so I hope that some of the the learning points that we had like you know collaboration with taxpayers um, you know some of the messaging um, public messaging and sensitization, the impact that that does, um, especially the link that you have with the topic that I was presenting on, um, you know, um, the link between um, being transparent to the taxpayer and how that improves um, compliance and, and builds a trust between taxpayer and um, local councils. I think if they can take those takeaways with them as they build new systems, then I'll be, I'll be very happy. We've been working with um, ICTD from different angles. We've been conducting studies. So we look forward to continue these um, uh, um, collaborations. So for example, we have studies that has to do with um, taxpayers and um, drivers of um, um, tax payment behavior in Sierra Leone. So that will be conducted jointly with ICTD. So we have several research that will be actually conducted with ICTD. And I tell you, to be, to be honest with you, I'm glad that um, we have ICTD with us because um, they are actually helping us 
not only to look at how to collect revenue, but also on how to improve our processes and procedures, it's how to apply international best practices. I think that that's very important for a tax administration like the National Revenue Authority. The Ministry of Finance is interested in um, strengthening public financial management. And when it comes to dealing with public financial management, there is um, the expenditure policy side, there is the fiscal decentralization side, but of course, most importantly, issues around taxes um, and um, revenue mobilization. Quite recently, the Ministry of Finance, um, through the Research and Delivery Division, signed an MOU with the ICTD, and we see this as a very good opportunity for us to um, conduct collaborative research um, that will gather evidence which you know the government of Sierra Leone the Ministry of the leadership will use in um, formulating and um, you know making policies for the country so we also have like other engagements um, which has to do with conducting research on expenditure policies for example but you really want all of these things to go side by side because um, the taxes that you raise really need to be studied because this is what what you need to, um, to spend on um, government programs.